Hi, we're going to talk about how emotional grammar can help you with pain. So we have a sentence like, I have knee pain. Yeah, um, You could have pain anywhere in the body. And I'm not saying this is going to get rid of it, but it may take some of the emotion out of it. Yeah, um, So you say, you say it, the sentence, I have knee pain, you put wherever you have pain in your body, you write that down. So if it's leg, you put I have leg pain. Or, Okay, and then you say the sentence slowly. I have knee pain. Okay, and where, whichever word in that sentence you feel stress on, you write down. First, you can notice where you feel stress because at the beginning you're not really used to um, feeling what you're feeling. So then you say, okay, maybe it's on the word have, and maybe you feel, and you say, I have, you maybe feel heavy. So you then say, I heavy knee pain. And then you see how you feel from that. You may well start to feel lighter. I lighter knee pain. And then you may well feel by that one confusion. So you say, I have knee confusion. Now that time I, I forgot lighter because light is already kind of getting to have no meaning. Yeah, it's just, so I've gone back to the original sentence. I have knee confusion. And when you say that, you notice how you feel and you say, it's kind of a feeling in my head. Okay, so I have knee feeling in my head. Okay, that's changed. So then I'm back to I have knee pain. And by um, my experience, a lot of people and, and myself, the, the pain shifts. Uh, it shifts extremely quickly. Okay, what are you doing? Because um, a thought is energy flow uh, inside your mind. Um, that's, if you're relating it to the knee pain, you're also connecting it to that, so you'll be improving your energy flow in your body. Enjoy. Go and visit me on uh, emotionalgrammar.com. Download my ebook and do, uh, do the course. It's very worthwhile. There's a lot of uh, extra information about this technique.